Just recently, Six Flags Darien Lake announced that Predator, their aging DIN wooden roller coaster, would be receiving a Titan Track overhaul. For those who are unaware, Titan Track is a new steel topper track replacement for wooden roller coasters. It's designed by Great Coasters International. Heavily inspired by Rocky Mountain Construction and their iBox track, Great Coasters International is now breaking into the hybrid roller coaster market. According to their website, this steel track will allow wooden roller coasters to perform inversions, launches, and other various high-stress elements not currently possible with traditional wooden track. It's great that another manufacturer is getting involved with hybrid coasters. This move will bring about better competition, which should bring about better products. This development has made me very excited and nervous about the future of wooden roller coasters. I can see the positive and possible negative impacts that this change will bring to the coasterverse, possibly bringing about the end of the wooden roller coaster. Let's start off with a positive. As already mentioned, Darien Lake will be installing Titan Track on their wooden roller coaster Predator. Very little information has been released about this conversion, and we really don't know to what extent Predator will be transformed. My assumption is that certain portions of the ride will be replaced with the new steel track, while other parts of the ride will still keep the traditional wooden track. Predator is one of the roughest wooden roller coasters out there, and any modifications should make a positive impact on this ride. One of the most unique features of the Titan track is that you don't have to replace the entire track to benefit from this upgrade. The roughest sections of the wooden roller coaster can now be replaced with new steel track, all while keeping the integrity of a traditional wooden coaster intact for the rest of the ride. This is a massive change from RMC's box track, a conversion that requires all of the old track to be removed and replaced with the steel rails, basically creating an entirely new attraction out of the old ride. RMC does have their topper track, which I believe is what is used on their wooden roller coasters Lightning Rod and Outlaw Run. However, RMC doesn't call this topper track a new steel track replacement, and it still claims to be a wooden track substitute. Regardless, let's get back to GCI. The Titan track will now greatly reduce the wear and tear, thus reducing the overall maintenance cost of your wooden roller coasters. If you can replace the bad sections of a wooden roller coaster with steel track, which would now last much longer at a reasonable price, the maintenance costs on this ride would be reduced. With this upgrade, Great Coasters International can now dip their toes into the launching coaster market. Imagine a roller coaster like Mystic Timbers that, instead of starting off with a traditional lift, can now be blasted out of the shed, reaching its max speed in just a matter of seconds. You can now get the benefits of a steel roller coaster, all while keeping the rest of the attraction a traditional wood coaster. There's also the option of adding inversions, which I do think we'll see, but don't expect to get those crazy layouts like RMC. Titan Track seems to be focused on reliability and cost-effective options for previous wooden attractions. With the current state of the economy due to the ongoing pandemic, parks are looking for ways to improve their attractions, while keeping costs on the down low. Six Flags can now throw in a barrel roll on some of their wooden coasters without changing the rest of the ride. Instead of Roar at Six Flags America getting RMC'd, maybe they replace some rough spots and toss in a barrel roll to mix things up. This upgrade would be on the cheap and would allow the park to advertise the ride as a new addition, hopefully increasing the attraction's popularity. Alright, now for the negative, or the aspects that make me nervous to say the least. Wooden roller coasters can now hypothetically be easily transformed into a hybrid roller coaster. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Derek, this is something that's already happening and we still have traditional wooden coasters. Yes, you are right. RMC didn't obliterate the wooden roller coaster market, but instead created their own niche in the coaster market. However, Titan Track has the potential of ridding the traditional wooden coaster market for good. Imagine if you were the owner of, say, Holiday World. They have three great wooden coasters, but need to cut costs while improving your attractions. Well, instead of replacing Voyage with 2,000 feet of new wooden coaster track every other year, why not spend a little more money and install the Titan track? 
it'll provide a smoother experience and last considerably longer. Plus, you can still call it a wooden roller coaster because not all the track would be replaced. The same concept could be said about Raven and Legend. We wouldn't see the complete transformations of wooden roller coasters, but witness the installation of small portions of the track replaced with steel counterpart. Many of us might not complain and actually agree with a smart, cost-effective move, but wood coaster purists should be shaking in their boots. The park can still call their wooden roller coaster a wooden coaster, but at the same time, it's almost like cheating, not really, but you know what I mean. Recently, we've seen some questionable moves by Kennywood with the removal of Kangaroo, one of the park's classic marquee attractions. What would stop them from replacing certain problematic sections of Thunderbolt with Steel Track? Thunderbolt features a lot of intense laterals with its low to the ground turns. Maybe the park would decide to just replace that section in the bottom portion of their two largest drops with Titan Track to greatly reduce the maintenance cost. As I said already, many wouldn't really care or might even know the difference between wood and steel, but us coaster nerds might be upset that their favorite classic wooden coaster is no longer a complete wooden coaster. Dollywood just announced that Lightning Rod would be receiving some iBox track, thus transforming this quote-unquote wooden roller coaster. Yes, some will debate that this is even a wooden roller coaster, will now be a partial hybrid roller coaster. Some of the high-stress areas of the ride will get replaced with iBox track, while the rest of the ride will remain the traditional topper track already used on this ride. Lightning Rod is a very intense wooden roller coaster, so this move makes sense, and I understand why the park is doing it. But at the same time, is this damaging the integrity of wooden roller coasters overall? Now, the gloom and doom mentality is nothing new. I remember being nervous after the announcement of New Texas Giant. I was afraid that almost all wooden roller coasters would get replaced with this new steel coaster concept. In the end, Park still kept their classic wooden coasters and even built more traditional wooden roller coasters. So what I'm trying to say is, sure, Titan Track might threaten the purity of certain wooden roller coasters, but the parks that still want an unaltered wooden coaster will still build them. Well, that concludes today's video. What do you think of the new Titan Track? Will it threaten the wooden roller coaster market or just bring about more exciting changes? Are we seeing the beginnings of the end of the wooden roller coaster? Let me know all about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and subscribe. That way you won't miss out on more great content coming your way by X Scream Thrills.